All right. Good morning. This is the pre-W Smith Show. We've got Paul W. coming up in the 6 a.m. hour, but we're here to warm up the audience for Paul and Paul for you. So on this show, we like to bring you subject matter of interest. We like to help you get your day started. You know, I know some of you are just getting up, stretch to the right, stretch to the left. We're going to do a little mind stretching, maybe even mind bending this morning with this first topic we're going to feature for you on today's show. And that is, and I know it's early, but this is amazing stuff. I mean, talk about stretching the mind. This does it. We're going to talk about black holes, the phenomenon in space that we're just beginning to learn more and more about. Lots of them out there in the universe. A really mysterious object. Mysterious because, as its title indicates, as its name indicates, you can't really see it. It's there. You can see what's happening around it. And what's happening around it in space is that a black hole has so much gravity, such intense gravity, that anything that gets near it, anything that gets near what's called the event horizon, near the black hole, gets sucked into it. And we don't know where it goes. It goes somewhere. The, that, to a point, the, I think it's called the singularity, inside a black hole. This stuff, you know, actually, all kidding aside, what's happening here is that we're pushing the limits of physics. We're pushing the limits of what we understand today about space and the universe and how it all works. We do know that there's a significant black hole, one of these black holes, at the center of our Milky Way galaxy. That's our home galaxy. That's where the, the Earth, the Sun, our solar system that's where we reside, in the Milky Way. And at the center of it is a supermassive black hole around which these spiral arms of the Milky Way galaxy rotate. We're in one of them. It's our home. And uh, it's important for us to learn about it and learn about how it works. And you know what? To help us stretch the mind a little bit, we tapped a gentleman by the name of Mark Reynolds. He's a University of Michigan astronomy research scientist. And he's going to help us understand the significance of a photograph that was just taken of the very black hole at the center of our home galaxy, the Milky Way. Mark Reynolds, tell us about this. Yeah, Jeff, thank you very much for inviting me to talk here. Yeah, it's this is our backyard. And so really, we have understood over the past 50 years that black holes are these incredibly important components of how galaxies form and evolve. And so to be able to finally study the black hole at the center of our galaxy is incredibly exciting. The Nobel Prize was awarded two years ago for the study of the stellar distribution around that black hole, where you can see the stars orbiting it, and they revealed its presence. And so to be finally then able to study this plasma right beside the black hole and be able to see the shadow of the black hole was a fantastic achievement. And I'm very exciting for people that are into the science of these objects. Well, and we're thrilled that you're sharing it with us. Now, tell us, I mean, I guess the first thing is that we need to understand, what's a black hole? So black holes are, in essence, the end point of physics in some sense. So fundamentally, what it means is that the force of gravity is so strong that light cannot escape. And these are very, very strange objects. We think of them as happening. Gravity is overpowering the nuclear force that keeps, you know, the table and the chair you're sitting on, those atomic forces. It's just becoming so strong because you have so much mass in one place. And so it's this very strange end point of the physics that describes the real world. And so we are then very excited to study this area because what it's revealing is something very fundamental about the real world and about how gravity works. And of course, gravity is, is very important in our everyday life. And, and as society now we're moving into space more and more, it becomes more and more important to understand these things. Yeah, and talk about important. There would probably be no Milky Way galaxy without gravity at the heart of it. And that's where the black hole perhaps plays a really important role, right? Yeah, this is one of the big, big questions we have in astronomy in that you mentioned also this M87 black hole, and that's in a, a larger galaxy than the Milky Way, about a thousand times further away. And that black hole is about a thousand times bigger. And 
what we have found is that all of these galaxies, they all have big black holes in the center of them. And so we don't, you know, there's a kind of a chicken and egg question. Did the black hole come first and then the galaxy formed around it? Or did the galaxy form and then the galaxy led to the formation of the black hole? And this is an area of research that's very active right now. And these EHT observations, they're allowing us to study right beside the black hole. And so really try to understand that end of the problem. And it's, it's all part of a wonderfully connected piece of physics. It's all so fascinating and it kind of stretches the current capabilities of the human mind, doesn't it? I mean, we're really, not only are we pushing the end point to physics, but really what we're saying here is, given our understanding of everything. Yeah, it's, it's exactly that because it's a relatively recent thing that you would go around an astronomy department and be able to ask an astronomer, do black holes exist? And they would say yes. And what I mean by recent is, say within our lifetimes, last 30, 40 years, the ideas had initially been conceived earlier in the sort of 1920s, 1930s, but, you know, they were sort of like, oh, that's cute, you know, you, you're able to come up with these neat ideas. Nice, fantastical idea, right? Yeah, exactly. But we were able to demonstrate it. And so now they're this real object. And when you think about what it means to have this object that is in essence, uh, you know, once a mass goes inside it, we know nothing about it anymore. And then mass that gets near these, this object, because it has such a large gravitational potential, it generates incredible amounts of energy. And this energy then affects the place and the environment in which the black hole lives. And, and trying to understand all of these things is, is an incredibly compelling thing to do. You know, when we demonstrate one of these really cool results, you know, the, we had the first measurement a few years ago. Now we're studying the black hole at the center of our galaxy. And this measurement right now, it's possible, and we've been able to do it, but we can do a lot better. Mark, so on the one hand, this is all really intellectually stimulating and fascinating, but from a more practical level, what might black holes mean to human existence in the future? Yeah, so, so this is, um, you know, the interesting idea of objects like uh, wormholes, and, and, and this is the idea that the space is collapsed, but causally connected to some distant region and there's ideas about using the black hole as an energy source so these are all very exciting ideas we kind of like to joke about oh how silly that idea is but it's a very important target to force us to move towards an ambitious goal and it's the things you discover along the way then will forced you to find answers to new questions that you will inevitably encounter. Finding answers to new questions that one will inevitably encounter. Exciting stuff. Thank you, Mark Reynolds. We're going to head to a break. Back with more in a minute on the Pre-W Smith Show. <laughs> 